Hi, in this video, I am going to explain one best industry practice to use if statement. Let's go to code blocks. Okay, so here I am going to initialize a variable called a with value 20. And I want to check the value of a in the if statement. Okay, so if a is 20, then I am going to print that a is equal to 20 that's it let's see if it works yes it did okay now what is the best is it a good practice now suppose if i miss one equal sign will it work It still works right now what if I change the value of a to 30 here will it work as per your logic it should not work but it works it's still saying a is equal to 20 but this is not we are this is not we have expected right the problem is here if you have missed that equal sign then a will be assigned 20 which evaluates to be true then if statement gets executed so this is not a good practice to write then what is the best practice industry practice so the best industry practice is writing something like this so you are trying to compare 20 with a instead of a with the 20 so does it work now yes see it did work right and it just didn't it did not print so this is one of the best industry practice to use if statement now suppose if i change the value to 20 then you can see it is printing 20 so a is equal to 20 this worked and if i miss a equal sign okay if I make miss a equal sign here, then what happens? Will it work? It will not work. It will throw an error. Okay, you can see here L value is required. Okay, so this will not work because you cannot assign A to a constant, a variable to constant. This is not possible. So that is the reason this is one of the best practice to use if statement it's an industry practice okay this even if you by mistake you, you forgot to put a equal sign then the compiler will catch this error. i hope you got my point thank you so much for watching this video